Hello and welcome back to Bo Polo. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a short review on uh, the Ubiquiti Unify Switch Ace 150 watt. This is a 150 watt one. There's a, a 60 watt one also. I have two of these on my network. I have one here and one over in our uh, business over on the other side which is connected. This one is connected to the other one basically. I will show you on the screen in a few minutes. Uh, the, the heart of the network is the, the cloud key, of course, the cloud key generation two, uh, plus this one is called, and uh, with uh, it's all the so all every t that controls every t the whole the whole network through this gateway into this switch. Uh, this one is plugged into in into the network. It runs it, and the internet is plugged in here and. It's a very, very simple, and uh, these are all going to access pints except for one. One is going. Um, you know that there's two different versions. The 60 watt will have only four of them power over Ethernet, whereas the 150 watt one uh, has, uh, the 150 watt one are all have power over Ethernet. For instance, and what I'm trying to explain to you, if you want to know which one is, uh, if you get mixed up where you are. So the, 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 the gateway is coming in here on number one. As you see, the light on the right hand side is, fl is flashing uh, green. And the one on the left, green means it's a uh, high speed, uh, on the right hand side. And the light on the left is not flashing at all. The reason being is it's not uh, requiring power over Ethernet. The one on the left is power over Ethernet. And uh, you see this one here, this is connected to uh, our uh, Cloud gate, and it's got the light on the left because this is powering this. There's only one wire going in the back of this one LAN, and it's powered by this. These, uh, these little switches, they're not full width. They are brilliant. Uh, I, 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 no trouble, I have this for over two years, and it, uh, this one here is going over to the other one in another building across there. Uh, we have hotspot manager on that over on the business there where people uh, get uh, they get a uh, they get themselves a little card uh, to for their internet for the free internet so that can control the amount of internet they have and then they don't have to be giving them passwords or anything like that they just get a token and uh, so uh, so I'll show you what it looks like on 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 the screen then and then so when you log in, then uh, uh, if you want to see your switch, you you go on you you won't go on this on this. You'll go on the Unify uh, network, and we will launch this, and then we will be showing the dashboard. And uh, it's actually showing the two switches here, but that's not where I look at them. Uh, it's saying that controller software uh, has a new firmware version there. Uh, I'll do that later. Uh, devices. Uh, what I would normally do, well, you can check in the map. So you can see my system here when I click map. I have my security gateway here, and then I have my house switch. That's the one I showed you next door, the one I showed you there. And that's connected all over the road to the hotel switch. Now, the hotel switch, there's nobody there at the moment. They're all checked out, and it's check in time. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and they'll all be here at 11. So this one will be all loaded. So uh, I don't have to block it out. That uh, cell phone is mine and over here uh, I, we have the two access points there we have the hotel CCTV uh, in that all plugged into that switch and this switch here has uh, all this plugged into it and then uh, then we have the uh, our two we have for this switch we have plugged in we have desktop we have office cloud key the balcony key is plugged in direct into that switch the hotel is direct into that switch. So uh, what we normally do is you go into devices and, and, and when you go into devices you can see your switch there. I'll select one switch there. And this switch is called, uh, this is switch 8, uh, this is the house switch, the one we're talking about. It gives you the IP address of it here, it give, you can reset it if you want to. When I plugged this one it just started, it, it, it did everything itself, it's using 49% of its memory, the temperature is at 65. And, uh, but you can change the name of it here, of course, as well. You can, uh, you, can, you can do the firmware manually if you want to, but I don't. I wait till they tell me there's a firmware. 
And so I click configure and then you can change the name here of the switch. Uh, uh, and you, when you do that, you press save then afterwards. And it says the general uh, were saved. And there's not much more when you, this is plug and play and uh, you can see the common settings down here with, as with all the stuff on, uh, you can copy your config, you can apply changes and a custom upgrade. That means you can back, back, uh, go back to a, an earlier firmware if you have it and you can uh, put up a custom one by somebody else. Uh, we're using a DHCP of course and uh, that's the general stuff. So uh, there's not, uh, for the switch, there's not really much you need to do. Uh, uh, these switches are basically, uh, they're there for two years and I never had to go near them. I think, I think a couple of times I had to, uh, to upgrade the firmware. I didn't have to, I did, right, because it asked me to and uh, that's it. So that's our short video on uh, the Unify Switch 8 150 watt and I'm explaining the difference between the 8 and the other the 8 one there'd be no uh, light there'd be no uh, uh, light on the left on half of them you will see it on, there's a, they have a mark here on the 860 watt one to show you which ones has power over ethernet for 8 for 8 for 8 you need uh, 150 watt and you need uh, only 60 watt for hour to power over ethernet on four of the outputs so, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please hit the subscribe button.